Hey guys, Uncle Pip here, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit since I posted a video, but in the last video, I said I'd have another super secret surprise to reveal. And today, I will review it. Review it? Yeah, I'll review it. You see, another aspect of my life that I haven't talked about is the traveling. I love to travel. So, with no further ado, my next trip, I went ahead and recorded it, and the next handful of videos I'm going to put out are going to be historically based on my adventures, historical adventures with Uncle Pip. I like that. Pip's plans, historical adventures. We just coined a new term. It's going to be its own segment in the channel, so if you're not interested in watching me travel, you don't have to. Because I'm still going to be vlogging my homestead farm thing that I got going on. And I still have my old vehicles, so I'm still out here struggling. But if you would want to see me do a fun adventure, please join along. Today, I'm going to be showcasing my trip to Ireland. So, let's dive into it, shall we? Welcome to Swords Ireland. Uh, like I said before, what I ended up doing was I had an eight-hour layover in Dublin. So instead of sitting in the airport for eight hours, I looked on Google Maps and found the Swords Castle. And this is where we're starting my journey. Um, once we got off, once I got out of the airport actually, um, I already had a plan. I had written down a couple of castle names had no idea what they were about or what I was going to get into, uh, but I had a list of places that I wanted to go. And Swords was the first place. It looked to be the closest from the airport. So I went ahead and got off. I got out of the airport, found the bus station, talked to one of the bus drivers. He was super nice, and he told me how to buy a 24-hour bus pass. It cost eight euro. And um, I went back into the station and paid the 8 euro, got my 24 hour card, and that's how I was able to get around the town for 8 hours. And it did not matter how many times I got on or off the bus, and I could get on any bus. It was great. If you're ever in Ireland, just buy the bus pass. It was a great investment. 8 euros, and I could go anywhere I wanted for the entire 24 hour period. Uh, of course, I was only there for 8 hours, so. Anyway, going back here, um, the first stop was I wanted to go to Swords Castle, and this is where we're walking, looking at right now. This is actually the, the chapel, and it, it is still in use to this day for wedding ceremonies and stuff like that. I think that's pretty neat. Um, it's rather old. There's a lot of information on the internet that I don't have in front of me, so I can't give you too much of the specifics, sadly. Uh, but you can look it up. Swords is pretty well known. Uh, from my understanding, it was not originally built as a castle. It was originally built as the personal residence of one of the prominent townspeople. Whether I forget if it was the, the mayor, person that founded the town, whatever. This view right here is really neat. It, you just saw me looking over the main street of Swords. Uh, but anyways, it's... He built this big house and walled it off. Has a, a nice grassy area here in the middle. And then he put in a chapel. And I, I guess it was one of the first chapels in the area. When I first walked in through the main gates, I did not have my camera on and I found somebody working outside. So I asked if it was open for me to walk around, and he said, yeah, the, the door is open, you can go in. So here I am just meandering around the Swords Castle. Again, this is the beautiful artwork in here. And I'm also trying to be as respectful as possible because I do see this as a, a chapel 
which is a religious thing, and I think that needs to be respected. Um, but it's beautiful architecture, beautiful stained glass windows. Uh, the walls are very thick. Now, I said that I was talking to one of the workers. You'll notice outside, once we go back out, uh, they do have scaffolding up, and it is a work in progress. They are still working on the Swords Castle. They're currently trying to rebuild any parts that have collapsed over time or deteriorated, and they're trying to preserve it the best that they can. So I think that's really commendable, and I think it's a great thing. Um, like this section here, it shows as authorized access only, because they haven't completed the work on it yet. But again, this is just a public park that's now open. Here's the visitor center on the left. One of the towers. Now I'm panning around. That's this chapel we were just in. There's all that scaffolding I was telling you about. They're rebuilding this wall right now. And uh, you see the guys wearing those bright green high visibility vests and shirts. They're the workers. And there's some other people here touring it in front of us. And now we're going to enter inside the other tower. Uh, there is a sign here saying that this had been rededicated in 1998. So again, a lot of work has been happening recently. And I am saying that 1998 is recent because this thing is really old. So, it's pretty neat. Now you'll notice the, the graphics is a little bad because I was in a 5.3K ultra high def. And being inside with a lower lighting, I should have dropped it down to a 4K but I didn't. Now once we get to the top here, look at this. That, that is really neat. It's a wooden chandelier and there's some carvings of like dragons faces. And I thought that was really cool. Just beautiful colors on that stained glass windows. And again that that was a window that was looking out to the other tower. And, of course, that's the, the further tower out's the, the one facing the main town itself of Swords. Now, once I leave here, I'm going to go ahead and try to explain a little bit. Yep, here it is. I am leaving. I have walked to the other end of town of Swords. And this tower on the right was built in the 4th century. You heard that correct. It's the 4th century. Uh, sometime after that tower was built, the one on the left was built. And I think that was built around the 14th century. And that was part of a monastery. And again, it was the Church of Ireland. And there's a church building behind it. That particular church building was built in 1818, after the original monastery had partially collapsed. So, the tower again on the left is the 4th century. The tower in the middle here, right in front of us, that was the like 14th century or something like that. And that church building behind it, right here, is a better view from the back side. Uh, that was made in 1818. Uh, I did stop and I talked to the preacher of that church. It is still an active church to this day. And that preacher was quite an amazing person. Uh, so I left there and I walked downtown. This is me walking through the actual Town of Swords. Uh, the church is behind me and the Swords Castle is directly in front of me. And this is just the main street and me just walking down it. And after I had stopped, had the bite to eat, I went down to the water. And here's the, the water. Now I'm on my way. I'm going to uh, another castle. 
but I wanted to see as many sites as I can. And all of these small towns uh, are all pretty close to each other. This was actually a short bus ride away from Swords, and this is the town of Malahide. And I'm heading to the Malahide Castle. But I wanted to stop and look at some, it was like this wooden sculpture here. And there's an old pier behind it. I really don't know the details. I just thought it looked cool. You kind of see a sinking ship in the background. Don't know what the deal is with that. Um, there's like old rail tracks to go down to the old pier. I don't think that's in service anymore. Now this one's for my father. Uh, I finally did get to the Malahide Castle. And I am not a golfer. But these fine men offered to let me use their clubs so I could say to my dad, I golfed in Ireland. Now here's the actual Malahide Castle. And this castle is also very old. I'm sure there's information on the internet. I don't have it in front of me. Um, but it was actually a castle, unlike the Swords Castle. So that's really neat. And I walked around the outside of it, and there's like an old chapel on the across from it. We'll get to that here in a second. You have to pay to go inside this, so I did not go inside. And there's the old chapel. It looks ancient. I have no idea how old it is. There it is from the back side. There's like a gift shop, and this is where you pay to go through the Malahide Castle. But again, I didn't pay for anything. Didn't have a lot of time, didn't want to spend too much money. And just walked around it and found more wooden sculptures, like this giant deer. I don't know if you get the size. This thing is huge. I thought that bus, or the, uh, the train was really cool, so I let that go. And of course, if you're not familiar, of course, I live in America, and we don't drive on this side of the road, we drive the other way. So this was just fascinating to watch. And yeah, I'm on a double-decker bus, and I'm on the top deck, right above the driver. And that's just, every bit of this looks scary to me. And that's going to wrap this video up. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.